Hey guys, this is Average Scale Modeler. This is my second build update of Italy's J87 Stuka. Uh, right now, I'm a little disappointed in the fits. Um, I've been having a lot of seam issues and gaps, especially right here and along uh, right here. Um, the assembly is kind of weird for it. You have to assemble the wings and then attach the fuselage to those instead of uh, like Rebel kits. Wait, the fuselage has these wing spars and you attach wings like that. Um, I have to say, Rebel did a pretty good job at that. I think that's one thing they did right. But like Airfix, uh, you attach the fuselage to this wing. And the wing, the bottom wing comes in one part. Then you attach the wings, the top wings here and here. Then the fuselage goes in between that. I don't like that. Because you always, always get a gap right there. I had to fill that and sand that. Um, kind of lost some detail, some really nice detail they gave it to, but whatever, that's the way it goes sometimes. Also, I had a gap here. Um, back here, it was pretty good. No real problems there. Uh, and also on the Airfix and this kit, you get a gap right here where the bottom wing meets the bottom of the fuselage. So I'll just putty that up and sand it down, it should be fine. I have to say right now I'm a little disappointed in this company. I don't know if this is just a bad kit or a bad mold, but I was really hoping for a company to be a little better than Rebel. Um, I'm not really seeing it right now. I'm a little disappointed. Um, also, a major issue I'm having is, um, let's see if I can get this, this piece right here that attaches to the fuselage uh, part 21 B I just attached that a few minutes ago and it was too wide um, it just didn't fit right if you squeeze the pieces together you got a bulge at the bottom and that didn't work so I had to take a sanding stick and sand down the sides so it would line up right here and I used super glue just so it would stay right, stay in the right place. Um, I need to get some putty on that, fill that seam right there. But that was uh, pretty irritating. Not as bad as this piece right here, though. Part 13B. Um, I'm not really sure what the hell happened here, actually. I don't know if I didn't glue these sidewalls correctly and they were and I didn't push them in enough because it was making the fuselage kind of bulge out a little bit. So I had about this big a gap. Can't really show it with my fingers, but it was a pretty sizable gap because this is like, let me try and show you. It's kind of like a square, all right? But the fuselage was kind of like this, kind of triangular. So it didn't fit right at all. So what I had to do was get some super glue right here and put that along there and then squeeze the fuselage pieces together to get the square shape I needed. I got some masking tape, some cheap stuff, and wrapped it around and waited about a day just to make sure it would stick right. Um, right now, it doesn't look too bad. I had it overhanging the side and then sticking up a little bit. But I sanded that down, and it doesn't look like it should be any more of a problem. I am, however, a little nervous about how the rest of this is going to go, since I changed the shape of it back here, especially the canopy, because the canopy is a big part of making your model look really good. So hopefully there won't be any more problems. Um, the next step in this is to paint the engine. And let me show you some engine parts out of the box. There's a lot of details in here. Looks pretty good. Hopefully it'll be as easy to paint as it is to install though. So, well it looks like that's about it for the second build update. The next one I should have uh, the engine done, uh, the cowling all glued up. I will have the cowling in the closed position. Um, just cause, oh sorry that's my cat knocking everything around. Um, also, I had to leave these parts out for now. Not really sure what the heck this is. I'm not really 
a plain expert but that's supposed to go inside of there but it now doesn't fit because I had to squeeze this fuselage together we'll see what happens um, so tune in next time for build update number three the engine should be on and hopefully everything will fit correctly thanks for tuning in bye